We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Entertainment Talk Nation is what I'm saying. The right here is no joke, they ain't playing. Bringing you the best entertainment around. You're bound to get stuck and find out what it's about. More reviews, show reviews in game. Fun for you and believe it ain't lame. Only right there, your friendly neighbor YouTube. So go check it out and see what the scoop's cool. Enjoy my friends, stay entertained to the end. It'll be the best time you ever spend. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Toho's Godzilla 2016. And there's one question that's been going around that I really want to address right off the bat. And the question is, will or should they release the movie worldwide? Now, there's rumors circulating that they've already announced that they are. I don't know how true that is. Um, from what I understand, <clears throat> I think is there's a chance it could happen, but it's not certain yet. Um, overall, my thoughts on this situation is I don't think they should. I really don't. Um, because let's face it, guys, and, and I know a lot of you guys are hardcore fans. Some of you are straight Toho. I love Toho, Toho, Toho. Fuck Legendary Toho, Toho, Toho. That's all fine and well, but whether you like it or not, Legendary has had a major impact for the Godzilla character in the last couple of years or the last year and a half. And you, I think at this point, it's, it's done the job of bringing in the general audience. And I got to tell you guys, no matter how many times you went to see the movie, no matter how much you love or hate the American version or whatever the case may be, Legendary has brought the general audience in. We did not make this movie a success. We didn't. No matter how much you want to think so, us hardcore fans, the ones who either love strictly Toho or love both Toho and both American, we didn't make this movie. We didn't help this movie get to where it was. I mean, yeah, we did our part. We bought our ticket. We, you know, we contributed to some of that money. But rest assured, I guarantee you, the majority of that money was made from the general audience. This is the audience that you have to keep if you want this to continue. Now, Toho, if they decide to go worldwide, I think might be being too greedy. Because now, maybe not for us, but I can guarantee you general audiences are going to be very confused if a Godzilla movie is released worldwide in 2016. And sadly, there's really nothing legendary can do about it. Um, you know, when you talk about things like uh, who has rights to a character or rights to a movie, it's very different in Japan. If those of you who may have seen my interview with, um, oh my God, I forget his name. <laughs> I can't look it up right now because my computer's upstairs. But... Um, Colossal Kaiju Combat, the creator of that game, I believe his name is Mr. Smiley, and he's the developer, and if you listen to that interview I had with him uh, some some couple of months back, he said that, you know, rights in Japan are very different. It's not set in stone. It's not on paper. In other words, by Japan giving the rights to America, it doesn't mean that America has the character and that's it. Japan can't do shit with it for the next couple of years. Japan can do whatever they want. In fact, if Japan wanted to be dicks, they could come around, or I should say Toho, rather. They could actually go legendary and say, you know what? We don't want you to make any more Godzilla movies. I think we're good. So, you know, so um, that's the beauty of what, how they do it over there. Well, over here, you know, we're fighting over Spider-Man to go back to Marvel and all these characters to go back to Marvel. It doesn't work that way in Japan. So I think they, while I'm very happy this is happening, I, I really don't want it to be worldwide. I don't, because I think... It, it, depending on how they do it. Now, this all depends on how they do it. Now, if they step up and they invest $150 million in the movie and you get a nice CG slash summation and it looks beautiful and it's in HD and you incorporate some familiar faces and people, you know, like let's say they get Ken Watanabe to get into their movie, and then maybe, then maybe you might be able to salvage the 2018 movie. But if they go traditional, traditional Toho and it ends up being a cheese fest, which you guys know I love cheese fest, but let's be real. If they release a cheese fest worldwide, you can kiss the shit goodbye. Period. Period. No one will go see the 2018 movie because at least the general audience. Of course, us hardcore fans would, but the general audience won't because they'll be turned off by Godzilla again because it'll be a cheese fest. They'll be confused as to whether this is canon to the legendary one, and it's just going to cause a big problem. And I think Toho should be wise and not get too greedy. I think they're doing a good business decision making another movie. But I don't think they should do it worldwide. I think it can do more harm to them and Legendary than good. And I'm sure Legendary doesn't want them to. They they can't tell them not to, but I'm sure they don't want them to. That's where it's kind of like a double-edged sword because, yes, we're excited for a new movie. Yes, this is going to be great. Yes, this is going to be fun. But at the same time, it has the potential to just, you know, destroy everything that's been done so far because the general audience rules, guys, no matter what. The general audience rules. That's what brings in the money. The money is what carries the character on. And if you want to see Godzilla movies, both Toho and Legendary, for the next couple of years, you have to pray they don't release this movie worldwide. I think you can do more damage than good. 
Um, you know, they thought that was the right thing to do in 98 after the 98 debacle, all right? And they still only made $10 million in the box office. They bought back the original Godzilla, the original look, and the original Toho theme, and it did not do well here. It does not do well in the States. It doesn't. As much as I love it and you guys love it, Toho version of Godzilla does not do well in the States, period. And for that reason, they need to keep it in Japan, let it do its thing there, and then release it on Blu-ray or DVD and let people import it from Japan. And I think they'll make more money that way. I think they should be careful and cut their losses. Don't don't spend all this money to release it worldwide. And then you're going to lose money, and then you're going to damage the product. You're going to damage Legendary. Hell, Legendary might even back out of it completely, and that would really suck. We'd go from the pinnacle of Godzilla's comeback to a complete shutdown. And, um, yeah, that would suck. That would suck. So that's my thought on it. Uh, I'm loving the fact that they're coming out with a movie. I love the fact that they have some plans um, in place, but I don't want them to do it worldwide. I don't think that's a smart business move. I think the smart business move is making another movie, leaving it in Japan, distributing it uh, via DVD and Blu-ray after it's released in Japan, and then make your money that way. I think they'll make more money that way. And, uh, you know, that's it. For the fans, it'll be great. So, But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, this week I said on The Nation, but for those of you who are not members there, uh, I am going to make a mini, kind of a Godzilla week this week. I'm going to be doing more Godzilla videos. I have a lot of people throwing questions at me. I, I'm definitely going to go ahead and address them right away. I will continue the March of the King regarding 2018 on Wednesday, and we'll take it from there. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Entertainment Talk Nation is what I'm saying. The right here is no joke, they ain't playing. Bringing you the best entertainment around. You're bound to get stuck to find out what it's about. More reviews, show reviews and gang. Fun for you and believe it ain't lame. Only right there, your friendly neighbor YouTube. So go check it out and see what the scoop's cool. Enjoy my friends, stay entertained to the end. It'll be the best time you ever spend. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Toho's Godzilla 2016. And there's one question that's been going around that I really want to address right off the bat. And the question is, will or should they release the movie worldwide? Now, there's rumors circulating that they've already announced that they are. I don't know how true that is. Um, from what I understand, <clears throat> I think is there's a chance it could happen, but it's not certain yet. Um, overall, my thoughts on this situation is I don't think they should. I really don't. Um, because